I'm here because the video that you are about to watch, those clips were recorded back on March. The reason why I didn't post um, previously, it was because I had those moments where I was asking to myself, should I post today? Should I upload the video? Am I ready? Am I fully prepared? And th those questions that it stop you to continue. And I was watching a video on TikTok where a girl was saying that if the people you and myself see right now in those platforms, let's say YouTube or any other you know place that you really admire them, they started with no fear. They didn't ask themselves, am I really prepared? They, of course, they got ready, they studied what they had to study to post the video because this is not about just posting things, right? We need to get prepared. But they didn't ask their, they, their selves too much, those questions. That's why they are where they are right now. And that video really hit me and that's why I said, today is the day I have to post, not because I just want to post. No, this is because I really understand that these minutes that we spend uh, on the phone, on the computer or whatever, are moments that we spend to learn something or to get information or even to know what other people are doing to get better. So that's what I want to share with you. I know that there are many people in El Salvador who work in call centers and I know that you're doing your best to give the numbers the company is asking for. I know that you're always uh, waking up, trying to uh, clock in or log in on time. And I really admire that from you. I hope that you can feel motivated. Of course, motivation is just a small piece of your success, but I know that you will get it. So let's continue. The first reason why I quit it was because I felt I was seen as a number. I know that if you work in any company they will require something from you. They will require you to accomplish the monthly goal or different type of metrics and that's totally fine. However I felt my name was on the list just as a number and if i was not giving those numbers i was just a minus zero and you can feel that it's not that you think that people are thinking that about you is that you can feel it you can see it i felt dumb because of those numbers and I just want to say, if you are in a call center and if your team manager, team leader say that you are the worst agent, or of course they won't say that, but they let you know in different ways, do not believe that. Because you are not what the numbers are saying. You are a complete human being. And of course, you have family, you have friends who can support that. The second reason was I was not feeling good. And that was one of the sayings my mom used to tell us. If you don't feel good, just leave without complaining. And, you know, making shows, just quit. And that's what I did. The third reason it was because I got a new job. I'm currently working in Telos International here in El Salvador, and I'm feeling so proud. And I know that God heard my prayers. I really wanted to be part of this amazing company. And I know that God was in charge of, of this, and he was taking care of every single second. And now I can say, if you want to change your job, come with us you won't regret. I have a friend working in TELUS. She helped me out on this 
And of course, I just want to motivate you and say that you are doing great. Even if your numbers are going down, you are a great person. You are a great team member because you are a complete human being. And just remember what God says about you. You are the light in the world. Do not forget that. I hope you have enjoyed the video. See you soon.